Police in Lexington are investigating an afternoon shooting on the city's north side that comes amidst a city and nationwide spike in gun violence. President Joe Biden addressed the issue today, calling it an epidemic. LEX 18's Mike Valenti has more in the big story at 11. A man in his 30s is in the hospital tonight after he was shot on DePores Avenue. That's according to Lexington police, who've now responded to 79 shootings this year. As soon as I got off my phone, I just heard like five, five gunshots. It was like quick, pow, 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 pow. This time last year, there were 12 gun-related killings, compared to 20 so far in 2021. This issue of gun violence here, um, it seems like it's not going to stop. It seems like, seems like people can get a gun anywhere. This issue was front and center at the White House today as President Joe Biden decried the nationwide rise in gun violence and other violent crimes. And as we emerge from this pandemic, with the country opening back up again, the traditional summer, summer spike may be more pronounced than it usually would be. The president rolling out a new crime prevention strategy today that includes a zero tolerance policy when it comes to rogue gun dealers who violate federal laws. My message to you is this, we'll find you and we will seek your license to sell guns. We'll make sure you can't sell death and mayhem on our streets. It's an outrage. It has to end, and we'll end it. The people living on DePores Avenue are also outraged by violence visiting their street in recent months. In March, a 28-year-old UK nursing student was killed in a drive-by shooting here. We want this all to end, and then we just want to live a peaceful life. Another component of the president's strategy is allowing states to use funds from the American Rescue Plan to help in reducing gun violence. When asked about this, a spokesperson for Mayor Linda Gorton said violence prevention is an ongoing top priority, and that will be reflected in her plans for the federal funds. In Lexington, Mike Valenti, LAX 18 News.